2012 15-inch MacBook Pro left and right speaker replacement. Please note that the left speaker is located underneath the logic board, while the right speaker is located underneath the DVD drive. Remove seven Phillips head screws starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. These are the shorter screws. Now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Those 10 screws will release the cover. Go ahead and lift it and remove it. Disconnect the battery before we begin. Right speaker removal. Begin by disconnecting the Wi-Fi cable. You can now disconnect the EyeSight cable as well. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the Wi-Fi card bracket. Push the bracket over to the side. This will give us access to the three screws that are securing the DVD drive. Remove those three screws. Disconnect the drive from the logic board. Lift it up and remove it out of the socket. Disconnect the speaker and the hard drive from the logic board. Peel back the hard drive cable. Remove six Phillips head screws, three securing the subwoofer and three securing the right speaker. Lift up on the speaker assembly and remove it from the DVD drive bay. Right speaker installation. Place the new speaker into the DVD drive bay. Place it and align the screw holes correctly. Secure the six Phillips head screws. Reconnect the hard drive and the speaker to the logic board. Insert the drive in at an angle. Drop it into the socket. Connect the drive to the logic board. Secure the three Phillips head DVD drive screws. Place the bracket back into position and secure it with the two Phillips head screws, the short one on the right and the long one on the left. Connect the Wi-Fi cable, now the EyeSight cable. Logic board removal. Remove three T6 screws that are securing the right fan. You can unscrew them, but leave them in place. This will make it easier to track them. Lift the fan and disconnect it from the logic board. Remove the three T6 screws securing the left fan. Again, leave them in place. Lift up the fan and disconnect it from the logic board. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the keyboard guard. Lift up and remove the guard. Inspect 11 connections going around the contour of the logic board. Familiarize yourself with them. Disconnect the LVDS cable first. Lift up the lever and slide it out of the socket. Be careful when making this disconnection. Now disconnect the keyboard backlight. Lift up the lever and pull out the connection. Disconnect the EyeSight camera. Disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Disconnect the DVD drive. Disconnect the right speaker. Disconnect the hard drive cable. Disconnect the trackpad. Lift up the lever and disconnect the keyboard connection. Disconnect the battery life indicator. 
Inspect and find the seven logic board T6 screws. Remove the seven T6 screws. Pry out the logic board at an angle, left side up first. Be careful, the microphone might still be connected and you'll have to pry that apart. Disconnect the DC inboard. Left speaker removal. Flip over the logic board. Disconnect the two Phillips head screws that are securing the speaker in place. Go ahead and lift up the speaker and disconnect the speaker and the microphone from the logic board. You can now pry out the microphone from the speaker. Left speaker installation. Insert the microphone into the speaker. Place the speaker on the logic board into position and secure the two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the microphone and the speaker to the logic board. Make sure that the connections are firmly in. Logic board installation. Connect the DC inboard to the logic board. Insert the logic board in at an angle, right side in first, and drop it in. Make sure to move as many cables as you can out of the way. It's okay, we'll be prying all these cables out. Pry out any trap cables now. Go over all the connections. You should have 11 connections in exposed in total. Install the seven T6 screws to secure the logic board in place. Connect the keyboard backlight. Push it into its socket and then click down on the locking lever. Connect the EyeSight camera. Connect the Wi-Fi cable. Connect the DVD drive. Connect the right speaker. Connect the hard drive SATA cable. Connect the trackpad. Connect the keyboard. Make sure that the lever is up when you pry this into the socket. This is one of the most hardest connections to make. Make sure you're gentle with this and don't damage your ribbon cable. Once it's pried in all the way, go ahead and lock in the locking lever. Connect the battery life indicator. Lastly, connect the LVDS cable. Be gentle when making this connection. You can damage the socket. Take your time. Once it's locked in all the way, go ahead and lock the locking mechanism. Install the right fan. Secure the three T6 screws connected to the logic board.
install the left fan. Secure the three T6 screws connected to the logic board as well. Install the keyboard guard cover. Attach the two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Starting in the top right corner, going left. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws, starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. 